There's a new breed of bus on the road today, the compressed natural gas bus, powered by one of the cleanest burning fuels available. This bus will transport us into the 21st century. And in the 21st century, all vehicles will need to meet emission standards tougher than today's. To meet the new standards, action needs to be taken. Southern California Gas Company has teamed up with Southern California Rapid Transit District to prove the viability of compressed natural gas powered buses. We are striving to try to reduce the amount of air contaminants going into the atmosphere. This event today, which underscores the use of the use of natural gas, we hope will be a very significant part of achieving our overall objective and goals. It's our goal in the air quality management plan to have 100% of the transit buses converted to clean fuels uh, or low emission technologies by the year 2007. I think there's little doubt that in terms of the big picture, uh, CNG can play a very major role in, in fact, cleaning up emissions from heavy duty engines and in really uh, eliminating the public exposure to diesel exhaust in confined areas where these buses operate. What makes this ordinary bus so extraordinary are its unique features. And foremost of these features is the engine designed by Southwest Research Institute for Southern California Gas Company. Dedicated to operating on compressed natural gas, or CNG, this Cummins L10 engine exceeds today's diesel engines in performance, economy, and emissions. At the heart of the design of this dedicated CNG engine is the pre-combustion chamber. In this engine, the fuel is introduced in the inlet port as well as into the pre-combustion chamber. The rich pocket of gas in the pre-combustion chamber is spark ignited and blasts into the main chamber to ignite a much leaner mixture. Extensive research has determined that replacing the injectors with pre-combustion chambers meets all of the requirements for the engine of the future. We want to try to keep the, uh, the life of the engine as high as possible. Typical diesel engines in buses run anywhere from one to 200,000 miles between engine overhauls. And we feel that the natural gas engine should go at least that far, perhaps even a little better. This engine has proven itself in durability for over the highway 18-wheeler trucks as well as garbage trucks and recently in the city bus market. It is a relatively modern design by Cummins and they plan to keep it in production for many years into the future. Also Cummins Engine Company who manufactures the engine has done an excellent job in, in having the engine operate in a transit environment. Uh, responding to the, the drivability concerns of a uh, bus operator. Six CNG cylinders, 18 inches in diameter, 80 inches in length, holding gas under pressure up to 3,600 pounds per square inch. It takes the latest in manufacturing techniques and metal composite design to achieve this level of strength. Made with aluminum liners, these cylinders are overwrapped with an S-glass fiber resin composite. This composite wrap helps to increase the strength without adding weight. And strength equates directly to safety. Safety is a concern of everyone designing the cylinders and the buses. But if past history is any indication, CNG-powered vehicles, such as these Oklahoma buses, have been operating around the world for years with an excellent safety record. Unlike diesel or methanol, which pools on the ground, natural gas quickly dissipates in the atmosphere decreasing the likelihood of ignition if it should escape from the cylinder. But the chances of any gas escaping are very slim. Before the cylinders are allowed to be placed in buses, the Department of Transportation requires an extensive series of tests for certification. We started out by crashing cars at 30, 50, 70, and 90 miles an hour. This resulted in completely demolishing these vehicles, much more so than you'd have in a normal collision. We then uh, fired bullets at them using a 357 Magnum, a standard police load. We then put dynamite on them, uh, dynamite equivalent with a quarter, half, and a whole stick, which was equivalent to a car impacting a wall at almost 90 miles an hour. In the tests which we conducted, the cylinders virtually performed flawlessly, uh, which, is, which is the safety uh, is just unparalleled. 
other than the cylinders and the engine. This bus is just like any new advanced design bus built by Flexible. Few of the parts differ from those on diesel buses. This eliminates stocking a number of special parts. Flexible Corporation, the bus manufacturer, did an excellent job in the design of their bus to adapt it for compressed natural gas use. They did an overall excellent job in looking at some of the safety aspects and being able to put enough tankage on board to have the desired drivability. It's not only what goes into the bus that makes it so extraordinary, it's what comes out of it too. CNG has lower levels of both visible and invisible pollutants. It's these invisible pollutants that combine to make up ground level ozone or smog. The Environmental Protection Agency estimates that CNG reduces tailpipe emissions of carbon monoxide by 50% and reactive hydrocarbons by 40%, and these estimates are considered conservative. Compared with diesel, the Cummins L10 engine reduces particulate matter by 80% and even surpasses the nitrogen oxide emissions for diesel set by the EPA. But what good is even the cleanest fuel if the supply is cut off? Fortunately, America has an abundant supply of natural gas. The Department of Energy estimates that America may have enough natural gas to last 200 years or more. This lack of dependency on foreign supplies obviously strengthens our national security. And through an extensive network of pipeline, natural gas can be brought to any location for refueling. Centrally located stations can make refueling simple. All that's involved with filling the bus is hooking this hose up to the connector. The typical refueling station is made up of a compressor with storage tanks and a number of hoses for multiple refueling. It's as easy as pumping air into your tires. It's also easy on your budget. Like any fuel, the price of natural gas fluctuates, but this price isn't controlled by OPEC. The gas cost for NGVs is equivalent to about 57 cents a gallon, compared with 75 cents for diesel fuel, one dollar for gasoline, and a dollar three for methanol. I think the CNG, one of it, there's a lot of it around. Uh, it's probably is the most economical of the alternate fuels that we see at this time, much cheaper than methanol. The fuel itself is available in uh, North America and in the lower 48 states, and that provides us with a fuel that doesn't have to come from other parts of the world. CNG is also as safe, if not safer, to work around as other fuels. It's almost a foolproof setup as far as the refueling goes because it's a locked-in nozzle. You can't disconnect unless you shut the gas off. It's a lot safer than trying to refuel with uh, gasoline. As long as the necessary precautions are taken, there should be no concern about working on the engines or fuel systems either. Maintenance on a CNG engine is very straightforward. The clean burning engine means that oil and spark plugs don't need to be changed as often. The ignition system itself should be fairly uh, maintenance free since it is solid state electronic. But as far as the basic engine itself, rocker arm adjustments and uh, things of that nature, it'll still be the same. All, all the basic pieces are the same. Maintenance should be even less. We should be able to go between oil changes a lot further because the oil's not contaminated. It's working out real good. It's, it's required very little maintenance so far. It looks like the way of the future. We're definitely headed toward pollution-free vehicles, and uh, this is one of the major solutions to that problem, one of the more promising ones at this time. If I saw more cleaner fuel vehicles such as natural gas, uh, then I'd be very happy because obviously that's going to improve air quality. And since I do a reasonable amount of commuting, uh, the less pollutants I have to breathe, the better off I'm going to be. Dependable performance, reduced emissions, uncompromised safety, all add up to a brighter, cleaner future powered by compressed natural gas.